So in the previous video, we uh, we create a simple filter rule. So we want to evaluate how this rule work. Um, so to evaluate, um, uh, we can evaluate based on the return. Uh, so we will rely on what we call a package called performance analytics. So we know that then this one gives you a nice graph and uh, gives you a nice table. So uh, to install, just basically you type this in your R or just copy and run this code. So let's do it together. Uh, here I run this code. And then uh, you can library it. So done. So now the next thing we do is uh, try to check how the return based on the trading rule. Right, because we're signal, then we have to determine how it being trade. So um, we do the most simple thing to do is whether we buy or sell uh, based on yesterday signal. Okay, the signal if yesterday say buy, okay, uh, then I will just buy at the open and sell at the close. And I just do day trading. I don't carry the inventory. Uh, every time I buy, I buy. I buy in all, okay. I just use all money. I don't have a trade size, so this is a very simple way to do. By the way, so how do you implement this? Is the trade uh, is based on yesterday one, right? And uh, every time you trade, you trade everything. So basically, it's uh, the total the total compound return is just the trade the return times. Uh, uh, this right because when there's no trade, then you don't have return on that day. When the trading signal is buy, you have one buying on it. This is exactly the filter rule is okay. And once let's do it, okay. And now you, you can see the return will actually give you uh, the return daily return, okay, each day return. Uh, based on the simple filter rule. Okay, this is the day when you buy in. Remember, that's one here. So we buy in, and this is the return you get from this. Remember, you have positive because you uh, you have this uh, on the uh, on the day before, and you buy on the next day. Okay. And now we want to. This is the all the return you want to visualize. Uh, what it is, right? So. Remember, this is the return here. Is uh, we have a uh, zero point one and point six positive negative. Okay, so we want to visualize it. Okay? To do so, we call Chuck's performance summary. So I this give the name. Main is the title knife. So let's uh, see how we work in the Excel. Sorry, in the R. So use the Chuck's performance summary. Run it, then you can see. This is the cumulative return. Okay, is how the return change over time. It's not doing very well. This the naive rule is not doing well as expected. And the daily returns like this. Okay, this cumulative return is a geometric return. How it goes on, and at the end, if you follow this rule, uh, you lost thirty percent of your uh, wealth beginning to an end over the period of like uh, more than twelve years. And um, last one is drawdown. Drawdown is uh, uh, what is the loss of your portfolio uh, before you get back to a normal time. So this is like 100 bucks drop by 20% and you go back to normal and you score and so forth. So drawdown is a uh, the uh, maximum loss of the your portfolio value before go back to the uh, uh, original price. So basically. Uh, it is signaling how many risks you want to assume. Uh, usually draw down, uh, depend on your risk preference. Some people will say 20 to 30 percent is a lot. Uh, some people say 50 percent is okay. Uh, it all depends on risk preference. And draw down is a uh, one good way to see how risky is uh, your trading strategy. Here, uh, we know this uh, naive filter is not very good. So let's uh, see the upcoming video to see how. Other trading rule looks like.